Many assume that Fed is going to have three rate cuts this year during the latest FOMC meeting, but Jerome Powell did not say that. Let me quote directly from his transcript. If the economy evolves as projected, the medium participant projects that the appropriate level of the federal funds rate will be 4.6% at the end of this year. And he added, these projections are not a committee's decision or plan. In today's tutorial, we will discover why so many of us got it wrong in what he's trying to tell us. And who are these participants? My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlations between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And there will be three parts in today's tutorial. We will discuss the direction of the long-term trend of the interest rate or yields, inflation, and what is SEP and its participant. Let's go over to the interest rate or the yield. They are trending higher in the long term. Why is this so? And what we are seeing here is the 30 years yield. It keeps track of the interest payout of the 30 years bonds that started in 1977. And what we can see here is that this long term downtrend for the interest rate has been over. And over the last three years, they have broken above technically. And many market watchers believe that this interest rate is going to be mid term to long term uptrend. It's not just on a 30 years yield, two years yield, five years, 10 years. All over the time frame, the yields are speaking to us the same manner. And of course, the inverse is true. What fundamentally they're saying that the US bonds are coming down, therefore the yields are going up. And what we're seeing here are the cash market. And of course, we can hatch into the futures market. We will discuss that in a short while. And let's look at what happened to the inflation with Inflation that also influenced the interest rate and the numbers itself, they are telling us that there is a risk of heading up again. And we all know that inflation hit the high at 9% in June 2022. And he has done well that it came down to about 3% and that was last year in June. But for more than half a year, the inflation don't seems to be coming down to about 2% target. And with this relationship that knowing that the long-term interest rate seems to be going up and the Fed and the market watcher are very concerned and we're losing patience that these inflation numbers are plateauing. Is there a risk that inflation may go up again? And we should not, not to entertain this thought that it may. It really depends on the numbers and what this Fed is trying to tell us that it really depends on the number itself. And let's go back to the SCP itself. And it stands for Summary of Economic Projections. As the name suggested, it is a document published by the Fed on economic projection. The SCP is released four times a year in March, June, September, and December. And the members of the participants are all the seven members of the Fed. And what they're trying to say here is that they hope that by end of the year, the this uh, Fed fund rate will come down to 4.6%. And currently at 5.3, it means that there's a 0.75% uh, they are projecting, they are hoping to see. And but what Joe Powell trying to say here that that these projections are not a decision or a plan. This is what they hope to see, and it really depends on the numbers, which is the inflation numbers. <laughs> so we have to make a very clear distinction between a projection and a plan or a decision. And let's look at in the context of inflation is still remain uh, pretty hot or uncertain. And of course, we can hatch into the gold market, which we are seeing that 
of the last one year ago is uh, piping hot and the Gen Z are also getting into the Bitcoin. And for the short term, you may also consider to hedge into the yield futures. And this is a weekly chart as we could see that is tracking along very nicely this uptrend line. So what I'm seeing here is that perhaps this is a buying proposition again. In the context that if you believe that the CPI or the inflation data is going to be uh, hanging around 3% or more, it may go up again. And this is the one of the support line that I'm seeing here right now. Just like many of us, we do have our hope and projection for the year, what we would like to achieve. Similarly, SAP participating members also have their hope and projection, which is to bring the Fed fund rate down to 4.6% by end of this year. And it is not a decision or plan yet until they are confident that the inflation numbers are heading and staying at the 2% zone. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon to find out more. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.